morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Plans TV. I'm Captain Collins. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you, you may not be seated. Today is Tuesday, May 7th, 2024. Now let's go discover a new word with Word of the Week. Hey, Daniela, what do you think? Wow! Ooh, I like it. I know, but my art teacher said it's something I could fix. Can you critique it? Well, maybe the shading could be a bit darker, and maybe you could erase those dots so it'll look clear. But then it would not look right. And I like the dots. Mm. What if you add some color, and maybe it'll look better that way? You're right. Hey, Anila, what do you think? Ooh, it's way better than before. The critique you gave me really helped me. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad you didn't forget it out. Amazing. I'll add that to my vocabulary. Now let's go to Khalid for today in history. Thank you, Catherine. Hey, Patriots. Today in history, on May 7th, 1914, Congress establishes Mother's Day as a national holiday. Did you know that this day happens every year on the second Sunday of May? It all started May 12, 1907, when Anna Jarvis and her mother would organize groups of women for friendship and health. President Woodrow Wilson was the person who made the official announcement that declared Mother's Day as a national holiday. Wow, I bet women were very happy to have their own national holiday. Now let's check in with Daniela for today's lunch. Thank you, Kalia. Today's lunch is beef and cheese nachos, Italian sandwich, Pintos with pizzazz, garden side salad, ranch dressing, sliced pears, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's purpose is blueberry muffin, lucky charms, string cheese, and 100% grape juice. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch menu can change at any time and to let your teachers know if you're receiving lunch today. Bon appetit and let's go back to Catherine. Thank you, Daniela. That sounds like joy. Tomorrow, third through fourth graders will have the chance to go to the pastry store. The store is open from 7 15 to 75 a.m. Make sure to come on time. Patriots, please remember to keep your phone shut down and your backpacks at all times. If there's no trouble going to school, please spit out for entering the building. And you can only wear a school jacket or a sweater. Guess what, Patriots? Yesterday was the beginning of Teacher Appreciation Week, so we got some fun activities for them to partake in. Today's activity is to dress as your favorite Disney pair. And tomorrow's theme is to wear your favorite Star Wars attire. Students, keep in mind it's only for teachers. Make sure to stay in uniform. If you want a yearbook of yourself and the rest of your class, then go to myschoolbooks.com. It's $45. Today, first to graders would take their star reading test, and fourth grade would take their fast reading test. And tomorrow, kindergarten will be taking their star reading, and fifth graders will be taking their fast reading. Do your best, and don't forget to get your rest. Good luck! I hope you remembered your rewards for the challenge. You don't? Well, I remind you. K through second will have fun with pajamas and pancakes, while third through eighth will have fun games outside. Get your lessons done early so you don't have the stress. Now, let's go to Camilo for today's weather. Thank you, Catherine. What's up, Patriots? Today's weather is 80 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Sounds like a good day to play outside. And other weather news. Have you ever thought that there were monsters in your closet? Well, for one family, this turned out to be the case. In North Carolina, a toddler reported to her parents that she was hearing monsters around her room. After looking around the room, her parents found over 50,000 bees living in the walls. Now this may seem like an unusual occurrence, but it's actually more common than you think. Deforestation or cutting down too many plants and trees has caused bees to have less places to build nests in nature. So they tend to move their hives into places like homes. What would you do if you found bees in your home? Now switch our pictures, happy birthday with Giselle. Thank you, Camila. Today's birthday girl is Ariel Bueno. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Catherine. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents presenting yourself positively, 
act kind towards others, choose school is very respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Sands, Miss Valdez, Miss Cavalita, Miss Jordan, Miss Arnold, and Miss McGregor for getting the correct answer to the SAT challenge. Which was, what's the name of the biggest moon of Jupiter? The correct answer was Ganymede. Not for today's day challenge. Daily challenge. What gets wet while drying? Teachers, please see answers to pines at Renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. More is being announced on the next morning announcement. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a trendy Tuesday. Have a great day!